Hi guys! To see how I got this quick and easy makeup look, keep watching! Today I am going to show you a super quick and easy makeup look. This is great for any season, but I love it for fall because of the lip color. I have some things I need to cover up today. I had a Melia. I don't know if you guys ever have had that. They're little white dots that get stuck under the skin. It's not like a pimple. It's in a different layer of your skin, so you can't just squeeze it. So I had some professionally removed before where they just burn the little white Melias out, so I would stop picking, but I was picking at this one. So I need to cover that. I actually used my, um, I'll show you what I used. I actually used this. This is a lift wand and I never use this except for when I'm trying to get Amelia out and I'm not recommending this because it is very close to your eye, but I use the, this little attachment and then you put it in here, you plug it in, you turn it on and it zaps. It's got like, um, it goes bzz, bzz, zap, zap, zap. And I very carefully look in a magnifying mirror. I close my eye so I'm not going to zap my eye out. And then I quickly just go bing, 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 like right on the Melia. Just a few times, not overdoing it. So this one took two nights to get rid of. I did this two nights in a row. And the second night I was able to just squeeze it very gently and get it out. And hopefully I got it all out and I won't have to get that one professionally removed. This is supposed to be for reducing fine lines and wrinkles. I do not use it for that. I also use it just to zap pimples, which another one here I was picking at. <laughs> so definitely don't pick your face, but I am a little OCD like that. All right, so for foundation, when I was on vacation recently and I posted a video of my vacation on my channel, if you guys wanna check it out, this is what I have been using, this combination, and it is 100% waterproof. I was going in the ocean, waves were crashing over my head, and I came out, and my makeup looked flawless. So if you guys wanna know the perfect combo for waterproof makeup with sunscreen, this is what I recommend for sure. This is IT Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Plus. This has SPF 50. And the color that I use is Neutral Tan, and this is Sunprise SPF 50 Mineral Sunscreen. I mix these two together, 50-50, and I will link everything I'm talking about down below in the description box, and I will also link the product links to the first comment at the top. So normally I do this before I get dressed, but in my last video you guys told me that you really wanted to see my makeup routine from scratch so for you guys i will risk getting this on my clothes and try to cover so it doesn't happen so i'm just tucking in tissues because i always bring the foundation down to my chest so all i do is one pump of the foundation and then i squeeze a bunch of the mineral sunscreen. You could even do a little more if you want to thin it out more. And just rub it together. And then just apply it with your hands just like you would lotion. This also kept my chest from getting sunburned during vacation. And I absolutely love the consistency with the added sunscreen. And your face is completely protected. Okay, now I'm going to go wash my hands so I don't get it all over the place. Okay. Now I'm going to moisturize my lips. You 
can just use any chapstick or anything. This is SPF RX. Now I'm using Garnier Anti-Dark Circle Roller. Use this anywhere that you have darkness and as an eyelid primer. Sometimes I use uh, another concealer, but today I'm just going to make it super simple using less products. take any foundation off of my eyebrows and I'm using my NYX micro brow in espresso and I like to mainly fill in under my brows where my hair does not grow anymore from years of over plucking, it just won't come back now. So we just fake it and fill it in under there. Then I use a little spoolie and soak it with hairspray. Sorry for all the cars, you guys very close to the road right now. So I just set my brows in place. You can use as much or as little powder as you want. I prefer to use hardly any powder because I love the dewy, glowy, youthful look. This is Revlon Color Stay Translucent Powder. So I just go a little bit between my eyebrows, on my chin, by my nose, and I'm going to build up a little more concealer. This is a super thin consistency and I do not powder underneath my eyes. I'm gonna use a little bit of the straight foundation just to cover these blemishes and when you use it straight, it covers much better. Try to cover this little Melia and she's gone. Any areas that I really want to conceal. I use the, I think this is medium, I'll link it below, but it's also Revlon Color Stay, and I just give that an extra set. For bronzer, I'm using Physician's Formula Bronzer in the color Bronzer. This also has SPF, and this is exactly what I did when I was on vacation, and I didn't get any color, my melasma didn't get any worse, and like I said, I was able to go in the ocean and get pummeled by waves, and it stayed looking exactly like this. The water just comes off like it's a waterproof casing on your face. Next, I'm using e.l.f. Moonlight Pearls. If you guys have bought this and you feel like it's either not working or not um, giving you any coverage, first try to take a butter knife and scrape the top layer off and then it 
I don't know why they have that kind of coating on it, but when I first used it, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna, this is crap, I'm gonna throw it away. But then I tried to scrape the top off and now it, you can see it just like poofs everywhere. It's got such great coverage. If you have a different skin tone and this color does not look good on you or doesn't show up or doesn't work, I mean, it's not supposed to be like, um, a totally different color from your skin or looking like you've got something crazy striped across your face it should look like this just glowy and definitely should be showing up just try a different shade a different color that looks better with your skin tone I like to put a little bit at the end of my nose, not major, but I love this glowy look. Some of you love it, some of you don't. Just do you and I'll do me. Makeup is a very personal thing. Whatever makes you feel beautiful and feel good, that's what you should do. I just love, love, love the shimmer. I will always love the shimmer. It's just all about where you place it on your skin. I have been using this goddess palette pretty much every day it has all of these gorgeous neutral colors and i'm just going to mix these two brown colors together and that's the only color i'm going to be using well maybe one more we'll see i kind of fluctuate I like to start on the outer corner, little tapping motions, and then sweep it in. And I go up almost right to the top of my eyebrow, and then come in this way, and it just lifts your eye and wakes your eyes up. I love these brushes because they are angled and you can also use them to blend. Sometimes I use a separate brush to blend, but normally I really like the drastic look on my eyes. You can see there is like an angle, but it's also fluffy. And if I want to blend more, just grab a fluffy brush like this and give it a little blending but i really don't like it too blended i'm going to use the same highlight that i used on my cheeks for the inner corner of my eye and i go right over where the darkness is right here and up onto the inner corner I'm gonna give my lashes a little curl. And I'm using a Voluminous a Lash Paradise. This has been my favorite mascara lately. It is kind of clumpy though, so that's the only thing I don't like, but it works so good that I deal with it. You have to really like wipe, wipe it off good. Now I'm just wiping the chapstick off. This is Superstay Matte Ink in the color Amazonian. That's it, super quick and easy. 
I love this look. I have been wearing this so much. The only difference that I will do is add a top line of eyeliner, but it is just such a simple, everyday go-to makeup look that if I wasn't talking, it would have taken me about 10 minutes to complete. Again, I will link all of these products that I used below in the description box. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more videos. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. Bye!